All right. Jeez, like pulling teeth out of this guy. <laughs> After my performance, I went to visit Shisho. <laughs> I called him from outside the room, but he didn't reply. When I entered the dressing room, I saw Shisho slumped over the table, motionless. From what I can tell, there do not appear to be any inconsistencies in the testimony. Of course there aren't any, because I'm not trying to hide anything. Prosecutor Samadhi is right. I don't see anything inconsistent either. But I did pick up on some faint discord in Yuendo's heart. Ponder all you would like, defense, but it is pointless. Your Honor, I believe there is no need for further deliberation. I'm the one who gets to do that. I disagree, Your Honor. I detect a discord in the voice of the witness's heart. That's a clear indication that Yuendo is facing some sort of inner turmoil. Hmm. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Miss Sykes? Would you like to be his therapist? Yes, Your Honor. The defense would like to conduct a quick therapy session on this witness. Objection. Even though there is no need for you to submit to this so-called therapy. Hmm. It's fine by me. I have nothing to hide. Bring it on. An actor with no emotions to hide. Sure. Impetuous fool. Why will you not listen to the guidance of this holy servant of the Holy Mother? If the witness wishes to proceed, I see no problem, prosecutor. <laughs> In one ear and out the other. It seems this performer has no need for your so-called guidance, prosecutor, sad monk. Just know this, you window. Your folly will surely earn you divine retribution. Thanks, Simon. I'm going to make the most of this opportunity you created for me. <laughs> Just keep your wits about you. I will. Window, could you tell us again about what happened in the dressing room? Boop, boop. Here we go. Got my beep boops. Da -ba 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 -da -ba -da -da. How much Discord are we working with here in the in the emotions of an actor? I guess we don't get to see yet. After my performance, I went to visit Shisho. I called him from outside the room. I'm kinda happy about it. But he didn't reply. When I entered the dressing room, I saw Shisho slumped over the table, motionless. All right. Why are you happy that he didn't reply? You're acting, and you're acting, you're trying to cover your emotions with acting! You know, something here just doesn't match. Match, match, ah, I see. Match, as in, manage to assert a thoughtful, calculated hypothesis. Hmm. In other words, you are the something here that didn't match, correct? Hmm. It appears you've met your match. No worries. Okay. That was just one match. There's still the rest of the game to go. Okay, not that. He didn't reply. In the dressing room, I saw Shisho slumped over the table, motionless. Actually, I think it's interesting that he is sad here, but he's not actually surprised. So maybe it's the lack of emotion that is a problem here. Yes! Yes! You should be surprised to see a dead body, not just sad. You know, notice anything strange with these emotions? Hmm. Some thin stranger with cheesy toe skin, you say. No, something strange with these emotions! How could you have heard something stranger with cheesy toe skin? I don't know, maybe it's me who's got some cheese in my ears. <laughs> Did he will the floor to open up and swallow his cushions out of shame for that bad joke? Yeah, it happens to me sometimes. 
point I'm trying to make is that I noticed something unexpected in your emotions. Now stop hiding and come out where we can see you. Bailiff, please bring the witness a few replacement cushions. Use your own if you must. Use the police cushions. Too many cushions! So what was this unexpected thing you noticed? Come on! Someone said a few kinds of cushions, not a few dozen! Now that we've all had a good laugh, please continue, Miss Sykes. Who's laughing? Not me. Focus, Athena. Don't let yourself get rattled. When you entered the room and saw your master slumped motionless over the table, you were the, weren't the least bit shocked, you window. Don't you think that's a little odd? I is it, though? The lack of surprise means you were prepared for what you saw. And I think that I know why. The reason Yuno wasn't shaken when he saw his master's dead body is because he knew about his master's death. He has an entertainer's guts. Nothing surprises him. Everything he just takes as he goes. He's a natural improviser. No, 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 no. He knew about this. You know, I think maybe the reason you weren't shaken was because you already knew you would find your master dead. <laughs> What? What kind of thing is that to say? You've got it all wrong. Oh, oh, right. I just remembered something. Mm. I thought Shishu was just sleeping when I first saw him. <laughs> oh, it's time for you to wake up, you silly tired old man. Noise level decreasing, but you still fibbing about something. You thought he was sleeping? That sounds plausible, but... What made you think he was asleep? Well, he had his head and arms up on the table, as if he were taking a nap. <laughs> oh, and one other thing, there was that note, too. A note? What note? Ah, uh, he must be talking about this. How much crap are you guys hiding? Resting, do not disturb. It appears to have been written by the victim. Allow me to read it. Resting, do not disturb. Yes, that's the note I saw. <laughs> After reading that, who wouldn't think she sure was napping? Hmm, that is a pretty reasonable assumption. You gotta be kidding me. Type his note, added to the court record. Okay. Getting this all filled out. That's right, I saw this note, so that's why I thought she sure was asleep. I wanted to change my testimony to include that statement. All right, I'll run an update. Do, 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 do. Just install a couple of plugins. Do, 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 do. Okay. After my performance, I went to visit Shisho. I called to him from outside the room, but he didn't reply. Info update. When I opened the door, I thought he was sleeping. Okay, no emotion whatsoever. But something seemed off, so I rushed over to him. Angry. And suddenly you're surprised. I was shocked to find him dead. I couldn't believe my eyes. I've managed to find so much surprise. I'm so surprised now. Why are you mad that something seems off? This may be nothing, but I'ma try this. You know, I noticed something funny in your emotions. Again. Funny, you say? Oh. I guess an entertainer of my caliber can make people laugh even with my emotions. <laughs> I didn't mean that kind of funny. Quite, quite the opposite, actually. When you're in the dressing room, I see that you suddenly felt anger. What I want to know is, what made you feel angry all of a sudden? What? Hmm? Let's see. Oh, yeah. I know I remember. As I was going in, I whacked my little piggy on something. I was annoyed at my own clumsiness. Hee! Wait. You mean you stubbed your pinky toe? 
Gee, just a little bump on my little piggy. N -n no big deal. It's embarrassing, really. Sounds more like he's hiding something. I better dig a bit deeper. No need to be embarrassed, Juendo. But I'm afraid it's something we do need to look into. Tell us more about your history of bumping your piggies. Hmm. I don't really see anything you could have stubbed your toe on. In the area around the dressing room door in this picture. But maybe there was something there at the time? Hmm. Mina, what exactly did you stub your toe on? What an irrelevant question. You dishonor the soul of the victim with these unnecessary delays. You tell her, really, who doesn't stub their toe every once in a while? You really gotta fuss over every small detail like this. Um, well, the thing is... Even the most subtle of fluctuations in a person's psyche can clue us into the truth. That's why it's important to get to the bottom of this question. Plus, if I back down now, who knows what new insults Simon will throw my way? Is there really no trace left of what you would have stubbed his toe on by the door? Hmm. What would he have stubbed his toe on by the door? What in the world might have been there then, but is not there now? Something's been dragged. You can see the trail of a TV. But why was the TV out there if that was dragged over there? Please take a good look at this photo of the crime scene. Did you see it? This long track that goes from the door all the way across the room. Hmm, now that you mention it, I do see traces of something getting dragged. And the drag mark ends... Here there, at the TV. This implies the TV was originally by the door. I'm convinced this TV is the object the witness stubbed his toe on. Well, you window, how about it? <laughs> yes, you're right. It was the TV. Still a little noisy. There, the noise level dropped again. Yes, I stubbed my pinky toe on the TV. But, but, but what of it? Why is this so important to you? So the noise went down, but it hasn't completely disappeared yet. Which means he's still hiding something. Okay, then let's try this tactic instead. You know, why was the TV moved there? She sure must have moved it so he could watch my routine. But what a place to put it right in the middle of the doorway like that. Hmm. I didn't want to bump into it again, so I put it back where it belonged. Performances on stage can be viewed in the dressing room using that TV? That's right, he's a closed circuit monitor that shows the stage. Hmm, hmm. Uh, I see. Now what? Can't find anything else out of place. And I still haven't gotten the noise level down to zero yet. Simon, I'm still getting noise here, but I don't see anything else fishy. Hmm. This is precisely why amateurs are such a bother. S sorry. I'm in no mood to play nursemaid here, but if that's what it takes to save the sober shop. Hoy, you window. Here's a curiosity for you. This table Master Tornado has slumped over looks like it was moved. Did you happen to bump into it while you were moving the TV back? Uh, oh my! Yes, you're right! The TV hit the table and Shisho's body moved with a jolt. That's when I realized that Shisho was dead. Oh, but how scared I was! I see. Thank you. Hmm. We're finally getting a more precise picture of how the body was discovered. But I'd wager you need to put the spurs to your window just a trifle longer. Uh, right. I can't keep asking Simon to bail me out like this. It's time for me to regain my footing and really stand on my own. 
Yuendo, what you said just now about discovering your master's death, could you please describe all of that again for the court in detail? <laughs> all right. But before you do, let me just plug in the latest information. Okay. After my performance, I went to visit Shisho. I called to him from outside the room. But he didn't reply. When I opened the door, I found he was sleeping. I tried to enter the dressing room, but stubbed my toe on the TV. When I put the TV back in its normal spot, I realized that Shisho was dead. Seeing him slumped over that cluttered table. <laughs> oh, Shisho. Very surprised. Why were you more surprised here than by the initial discovery? I mean, I guess it makes sense that he gets more and more surprised, but didn't get more sad. I feel like the degree of thought might matter here. Also, this doesn't surprise him, but I guess anger is just all that really makes sense. Huh. I'm gonna try to pinpoint this extra big surprise. No music seems a good sign. That's odd. After the initial shock of finding the victim dead, you reacted with surprise again. Because he was surprised about the cards, not the death. What was the surprise you in, you window, besides your master's death? <laughs> what do you mean? What's more, you were even more surprised the second time than the first. What could have surprised you more than finding your late master? Search me. Your little thingy must have made a mistake. Silence. The girl is as sharp as a trout, to be sure. But her ability to hear people's emotions is absolute. Now get to remembering, you window. What was it that surprised you? That was a compliment, right? I'm, I'm sharper than a trout. I'm real sharp. I'm a sharp cookie. Well, I, um, mm -hmm. Whoa, the noise is all the way back up. No, we pushed him too hard, and now he's mentally all over the place. His emotions are completely out of control. Out of control. Care to explain how that's relevant? You know how normally I listen for the hidden emotions in a witness's voice, right? From there, I look for inconsistencies between their testimony and those emotions. But sometimes a person's feelings can run too high, making it hard to get proper readings. So that's how your matrix program works. Fascinating. Ordinarily, it's just one emotion that runs out of control. But it seems there's nothing ordinary about this time. Mm. I, 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 uh. We got an emotion overload! There's a lot of anger going on here. After my performance, I went to visit Shisho. I called him from outside the room, but he didn't reply. When I opened the door, I thought he was sleeping. I tried to enter the dressing room, but stepped my toe on the TV. When I put the TV back in its normal spot, I realized that Shisho was dead. Seems like don't like that cloud of tape. Oh, Shisho! Hmm, I knew it. What's got your knickers all in a bunch now? Mina has multiple emotions running out of control at the same time. I've never seen anything like this. It makes sense that Blackwell wouldn't actually know how this worked, because in, in Dual Destinies, every time she did it, he was like, fine, do whatever, and then he would just like turn around and just, whoop, and just kinda hide. So how does one bring a situation like this back under control? I have to find the root of cause of this tangled mess before I can treat him. I can identify what is causing his emotional rampage, then I can touch probe to dive in further. I'll need to point to what I think is the root cause and touch probe again. Through this process, I can identify exactly what's causing the window so much distress. It's the cards. And that will help bring his emotions back under control. In that case, 
Let's get started, shall we? All right, I can't guarantee success, but it's definitely worth a shot. Time to look for the root cause of Yuendo's rampaging emotions. All right. Seems odd that he's angry here, but I'm gonna go to the thing that I suspect just straight away, which is the cards on the table here in their right place. Karuto cards. I get it now. The cards are the root of it all. I, uh, oh, ooh. Don't try to deny it. You can't hide your feelings from me. The dying message that was left at the scene of the crime is what you was causing your distress. Mm, mm, mm. And if the dying message was the cause of all those feelings, then that means the phrase Owen oh, Forth must mean something to you. Okay. There! Noise level zero! Finally! The dying, the dying message consists of two words, Owen and Forth. But neither of these two words have anything to do with this witness. Hmm. This topic warrants no further argument. Sure! There may not seem to be any direct connection between your window and the message. For now. Why don't you wait and decide what's necessary after you hear my theory? <laughs> I trust you've hit upon something, Athena. Yep, if my theory is right, we can finally solve the case of Yuendo and the mysterious Owen Force. <laughs> well, go on then. I can already tell this promises to be interesting. Now, please share your theory with the court, Miss Sykes. There was something puzzling to me about Yuendo's out-of-control emotions just now. Namely, that there were three distinct reactions present. I'd never seen that before, and I wondered how it could be possible. Is there a conclusion to this meandering musing of yours? Hold your horses! I'm getting there! So, could a person flip these distinct emotions of such intensity like a switch? In the end, I knew that it just wasn't possible. <laughs> so that's it, is it? A bit unconventional, but I'll grant that it's possible within the realm of psychology. Within the realm of psycho -wallology. I'm afraid you'll have to explain it for the old man up here on the bench. Your Honor, my theory is that your window is a robot! Hi, hey, my name is Rindo. I'm a robot. I'm your friend. Your friend has multiple personalities. The different characters that he's using are actually different people. <gasps> With so many distinct personas, it's clear to me that Yuendo has disassociative identity disorder. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What does that even mean? Your Honor, the defense would treat this trial as a child's jest. Multiple personality disorder, a preposterous proposition indeed. Would you not agree, witness? How, how did she know? How did she figure it out? Pukonka! I can't believe it. Uh, I can't believe it! I did it! I did it, Simon! Simon, look, I did it! Simon, look, I did it! I've read papers on it before. But to think I'd see a case of it for myself? Blimey. Rakugo artists tell stories as different characters, but as different personalities? <laughs> hey, you lawyer girl! Hey, you lawyer girl! You got a problem with us, huh? <laughs> No, no problem at all. This is all very hard to believe. But now that we've established that the witness has multiple personalities, could each of them please introduce themselves to this court? Hmm. 
you in Dotonado. I'm a Rakugu storyteller, as you know. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Patches, the friendly jester here. <laughs> Hmm, Kisigawa, courtesan. And is that all of you? Yes, that's all of us. No, I think you have a fourth. And I think your fourth's name is Owen. So there are three personalities in total. Uendo, Patches, and Kisigawa, huh? Well, well, Simon, what do you think now? Hmm. That you're one lucky duck. Just be glad they were dense enough to help you out. Can't you just straight up say I did great for a change? Heh. <laughs> you appear to be quite proud of yourself, Defense. But all you have done is infringe upon the privacy of the witness. I couldn't disagree more, Prosecutor. Now that we know there are three personalities... A new way for us to interpret the meaning of a certain piece of evidence has arisen. A new interpretation? Oh, now I'm very curious. What is this piece of evidence you're talking about, Miss Sykes? Knowing what we know about Uindo and his personalities, this now makes perfect sense. The Karuta Cards. The Karuta Cards? That's right, Your Honor. Recall the original dying message left at the scene. We didn't have a clue as to what Owen Forth could have possibly meant. But now, with this new information about Uendo and his personalities, isn't it possible that Owen Forth actually means a secret fourth personality of Uendo's, a personality named Owen? What? Polkanka? Uendo must have kept his dissociative identity disorder from us because he didn't want to be associated with in any way with that dying message. <laughs> no, that's not why. We kept our disorder a secret for a different reason altogether. We've been taking advantage of our affliction to act out various Rakugo characters. <laughs> and word of this got out, well... Our reputation as Rakugo artist will be tarnished, as would the tornado name. Hmm. That's why we kept it a secret from everyone except members of the Tornado School. But really, there is no fourth personality. It's just the three of us in here. A plausible enough sounding story. But it doesn't prove you didn't rearrange the cards, does it? But... but I will concede that it is highly likely that the witness rearranged the cards. Is Prosecutor Samadhi actually agreeing with us? However, it is also not also possible that the accused killed Massive Tornado. And then left that message in order to frame the witness. And upon noticing the cards when he found the victim's body, Yuendo rearranged them. Silence! A fantastic tale, but a tale nonetheless. No one outside the Tornado school knew about Yuendo's multiple personalities. Yuendo just finished saying so himself. Ah, that is a true, but ultimately meaningless point. The witness was only in the dressing room for two to three minutes. That's far too little time to commit murder, wouldn't you say? Objection! Then who's to say he couldn't have done it before his discovery? Objection! Hmm. Ah, that spring chick memory of yours. Have you already forgotten Prosecutor Blackwell's testimony? Simon's testimony? Oh! Geru escorted me to the dressing room, but we heard the sound of Rakugo being performed from within. Thinking the master was rehearsing, we decided to wait in the hall until he was done. Hmm. 
That's right. Until just a few moments before you and Doe entered the dressing room, Typhoon Tornado was confirmed to still be alive. Ah. No! No! Not only that, but Juwindo was on stage until just before he discovered the body. A bulletproof alibi that I have already confirmed with several audience members. Oh no! I also heard that his Rakugo performance that day was a steaming pile of... Well, you get the picture. <laughs> yes, I'm afraid so. Really stuck up the stage, I did. <laughs> hmm. And yet I have a perfect alibi. Indeed, why not land the coup de grace on the defense by describing your alibi witness? Okie dokie, Smokey!